before we start, any question about your assignment or your, your past lecture? Okay, if no, then we start our tutorial. Huh? Can someone remind me uh, what was the question that we discussed last week? Which question have we discussed? We are talking about the characteristic of technology or mean that. Uh, what is technology, I think? Sorry, I can't hear you. Uh, what is technology? Okay, what is technology, all right? So today, I want you to discuss about question six, yeah? Okay, again, that is determined by technology, not by society. When you discuss this statement. So when you're discussing this statement, you can either say, yes, I agree with the statement, no, I disagree with the statement, or I partially uh, agree with the statement because under certain circumstances or certain, certain contexts, that is really determined by technology. But on the other, on other uh, circumstances or contexts, that is determined by society. All right? So you always have three choices uh, when you are discussing about the statement. You have the three choices. Now, before we start, I just want to make you aware that usually we're talking about... Hey, can you see my slide? Uh? I don't no, no, it, uh. Sorry? No, we can't see your screen. Yeah, 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 because I didn't present my slide. Okay. Uh -huh. Sir, I'm here. And who are you? Tan Xin Shen. Tan Xin Shen. Okay. Can you see my slide? Yes, yes sir. sir. Yeah, okay. That is determined by technology, not by society, okay? As I mentioned just now, when you're discussing this type of question, when you're answering this type of question, you always have three choices. One is, yes, I agree with the, 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 the statement and why I agree, okay? Second one is, no, I disagree with the statement and why you disagree. You list down your reasons. And then the third the choice the choice is, yes, I agree, I partially agree or I, I agree is when uh, these circumstances happen, okay? And I disagree if the circumstances is changed to another circumstances. So you always have a three options for you to do, okay? And I want to draw your attention to uh, the definition of that. Usually, when we're talking about someone has died or passed away, then we say that he or she has stopped breathing, don't have a heartbeat, right? But for many centuries, can you see my dislike? For many centuries, people were deemed dead when they stop breathing and they are, when their heart stopped beating, okay? So we no, don't have any breathing. Our, stop, our heart stopped pumping already. So we declare that that person is uh, dead, okay? But on top of that, with the new, uh, new development of technology or whatever, cessations of brain functions begin to be considered as the main reason for diagnosis death, okay? So even though your, your breathing is still on, you still have the breathing, your, your, your heart is still pumping, but if the specialist, or the, the neurologist uh, determine that your brain, there is a brain death, then that's when you are declared that, okay? So this is the definitions of a death that uh, are commonly used in the uh, Today's work. Okay. All right. So I give you 15 minutes from now. Write down your answer. And then after that, as usual, I will call you up one by one and read out the answer today.
Phone question, are you there? Yong Chi Ye? Who absent now? It's important to tell me your justification of whether you agree, disagree, or half, half 50%, agree 50%, disagree. Okay, you have to tell me the justifications. You can go to online to Google your answer or whatever, but please write and write the answer using your own sentences, uh, using your own words, okay? Don't copy bullet uh, bullet from the internet. Uh.
Okay, you have another six minutes. Try to finish off your last sentence and make a conclusion.
Okay, Hans, are you ready to share your answer? Are you ready? Uh, five more minutes, sir. Okay, okay, five more minutes. Yong Chi Ye, are you there? Yong Chi Ye? Uh, yes, sir. Why are you late today? Uh, <laughs> I forget your class already. Sorry, what is that? Uh, yeah, I, 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 miss, you? I miss the time. Why you miss the time? Because I forget I uh, got class. Oh, you enjoy too much during Chinese New Year, is it? No, no, no. <laughs> okay. Okay, let's share your answer. Let's listen from uh, Mei Ling. Are you ready? Hello, oh, oh, sir. 
Yep. How uh, was your answer? I partially agree with this statement uh, because in the old time, a uh, physician will feel for the pulse, listen for breathing, hold a mirror before the nose to test for condensation, and look to see if the pupil were fixed. Uh, this medical criteria resulted in determination which la uh, largely mirrored the popular conception of that mm -hmm. as as there was virtually complete agreement and overlap between the state of medical technology and our conception of it then by using technology just precise definition of it so that's all for me what do you mean by you by using technology just beside the definition of it like uh in old time we did not know uh, our cause of death, mm -hmm. the cause of death. Then, uh, when using a technology, we can know is it is, uh, our body some part failure like uh, liver, lungs, or kidney like that. Mm -hmm. Okay, you say you are partially this are partially agree on it, right? Ah. So what are yes. the that you are disagree with this statement, and why you are disagree with that? Uh, because uh, in old time, uh, the to check whether the human is dead actually is same way that check for their breathing. Uh, hear their heartbeat, mm -hmm. and but using technology, uh, in tradition, uh, in old time, we also can. Uh, yeah. know that people is dead but with the technology we just will know more clearly what is the cause they did so uh, what like is that. the cause that you disagree with? Uh, not only technology can determine the death I don't know mm -hmm. can you explain further? Uh, like I, what I say just now, we can feel for the pulse, mm -hmm. but using technology, we can uh, use the thing to check for the pulse. Okay. So in the same way. Mm -hmm. So, uh, right. so just like this. Mm, okay. Yeah, uh, it is not clearly explain your your decisions on uh, whether it's uh, uh, agree disagree or whatever. Even though this you say that you partially disagree, right? But ah. the way that you, you answer the question is not that clear. Yeah. Okay. Oh, so it okay. just need to be clearer and stronger. Okay. Uh, Shewan, I'm Shewan. Shewan, are you there? Yeah, yeah, yes, sir. Yeah, can you speak louder? I can't hear you. Uh, hello. Uh, how about now? Uh, okay. Huh? Uh, so uh, I agree with the following statement. This is because we have the access to the technology. We have the most advanced technological access towards our health. So whenever a person is in sick or pain, technology like medical equipment can determine uh, the type of illness. The, the person is, huh? So it can determine the technology can determine the type of what? The type of illness. The type of illness. Illness. Okay. Uh, based on the symptoms. Ah, uh, yeah. And pro. Uh, the doctors can. The how to say the medical personnel can provide the corresponding medicine or treatment. So uh. So you are talking about technologies help in diagnosing the, the, the illness or whatever, right? Yeah, yeah. But the question is asking whether the death is determined by technology or society. So your answer is more on the illness and it's not on the death, on the death. Okay. Uh, uh, yeah, this is because the, the illness uh, can define 
uh, uh, the a uh, person life of death. Uh, as the illness sometimes can be critical, or or whatnot. What do you mean by critical or whatnot? Means uh, the the illness the illness a person is having can be sometimes critical. Mm-hmm. Uh, for example, like the COVID nineteen uh can damage the lung very severely until uh the lung cannot function and so? uh killing the person. Mm-hmm. Therefore, so what is it to do with the technology? Uh, so the uh, the, the technology. Let's see. Continue. Uh, uh, where, where, uh, the technology can provide provide a uh, treatment. Uh. So, so mm-hmm. with the with the said uh COVID nineteen uh we have uh incubation. Uh, mm-hmm. the tube incubation to help uh the patient to uh breathe. Okay, so Help, helping with their breathing. So um if they may uh if they may cure their I would say they may clear the infected lungs, uh therefore they may live eventually. Okay. Uh so without the technology the the, the, the sick person may not be may not be, uh live. Hence this uh this is the exactly the statement implies. Okay. The death is the, the death is uh defined by the technology. Okay, all right. Okay, uh let's listen from uh Li Hang. Why Li Hang? Yes sir. Uh, Li Hang? Uh, uh I agree with the that is determined by the technology. Why? Why you agree? Uh, uh, this this is because by using by uh, with the technology. Can you speak louder, with, uh, Oh, uh, with with the technology, we can find out the. Medical or solution to to solve the disease. For example, the COVID. Right now we have and now what happened? Uh, now we have vaccine. So, so the the debt will re- reduce. So what is the, the relationship between your answer and the question? The uh, question is asking whether the debt is determined by society or by technology. So what what is your uh, opinion on that? Yeah, yeah. Uh. Hello, are you speaking? Uh, can you repeat the uh, what you asked? Uh, uh, I say, what is the relationship between the answer that you presented just now with the question that is asking whether that is determined by technology or society? What is the relationship? I can see the clear relationship of what you answer. Uh, Yeah, yeah. What happened to you, yeah? I don't know how to answer. Okay, right, you, you, you think about it. Huh? Later, I'll come back to you. Uh, so, Yan Cha? Yes, sir, can you hear me? Can, yeah, what do you feel? Okay, uh, I disagree with the statement. 
from mm -hmm. the definition that is the permanent irreversible sensation of conscious con mm -hmm. consciousness and all biological function that sustain a living organism although the biological function can be monitored using technology such as heart rate monitor and x-ray machine but the decision making is done by the doctor in another words is done by the society technology is a service used with scientific knowledge applied into it but the society is the one who explore the start explore and study about the biological function of a living organism in short technology is an equipment that helps society to justify a that organism that is determined by society not by technology that's it that's very good yeah very clear okay uh xin shen i'm xin shen ah yes sir yes come uh what i think about the statement is uh during the olden days mm -hmm. death has always been related to evil spirits malicious gods and other mm -hmm. supernatural causes such as being spirited away or being cursed this is because the society back in the days were reliant to stu superstition or believing in animism. Mm -hmm. With the emergence of medical technologies, death and superstitions is no longer widely linked as it can be determined through diverse factors. These factors uh, may come in the form of responses to stimuli, uh, loss of muscular activity or illness and many more. Such detailed uh, explanation regarding the cause of death gives society clear views that death is no longer a mystery and can be explained with the help of technologies such as autopsy of the bodies and also investigating the surrounding. For example, uh, the Black Plague pandemic that devastated the mid-1300s uh, of Europe and Asia were thought to be caused by movement of the planets, punishment from gods, and poisoning from enemy states. This is because medical knowledge were not that advanced at that time and doctors did not understand diseases. As such, society has evolved towards an era which is not dependent on something called fate. That's all for my... Okay, so what is your overall conclusion? Conclusion is uh, death can be determined by technology. Okay, good. All right. Okay, Tio Yonghong? Uh, sir. Uh, sir, can you hear me? Uh, can, can. Uh, uh, I agree with the statement because technology, technology is developed by humans with no functionality and being used after a lot of testing to ensure it is well functioning. It is true that society are trying their best to minimize the human error technology done the best in this session. For example, a person with very big heart rate may be will miss by the doctor who perform it, but this will not miss when get down by technology human. For example, we can know that this is more reliability and consistency for the technology than society. That's all for my answer. Okay, a bit brief, but it's okay. All right, uh, you want to say, uh, you see? You see? You uh, Hi, sir. Yeah. Um, share with us your answer. Uh, historically, Schroeser has attributed death to either spirit, gods, or supernatural, uh, or supernatural agents. In 19th century, the, one, the time one stopped breathing was the last sign of death, and the forged mirror head to the mouth suggests that the spirit had passed away from the body. But today, the measurement of the deeds is much a complex one as mechanical and electrical operation fails, which means the once the brain stops signaling, the heart stops pounding, and the breath stops, then once is declared at date. Moreover, the improvement in medical technology occurring at a rate that is challenging even the most basic definition of what it means to be human or to simply to be alive. The ability to conduct a success surgery has changed many issues. One of the examples is low birth babies who had high rate in 1917. Nowadays, many low 
rate premature baby survive because of improvement of technology in medical. Besides, humans can predict their death to avoid them like HIV I'm or AIDS. Human cannot. Besides, humans can prevent their death to avoid them. That is it. Ah, uh, yeah. Uh -huh. Like HIV and AIDS. Human also can detect okay, uh, their illness. Okay. I, I with first, first, first. Oh, okay. Uh, sorry, uh, because I have to answer a urgent call. I continue. Um. Human also can detect their illness, which cause death, like cancer or disease, because of technology. Mm -hmm. Moreover, moreover, technology help us to forecast the future. Because forecast of the future? what do you mean? Yeah, because of gen uh, genetic and then genetic engineering may make many illness uh, may make many illness of death uh, can be cured, like mm -hmm. allow organs to be regenerated. When defect are uh, when the organs fail to fail to defect, uh, and and fail to defect, uh, fail to work, uh, -huh. uh and it can make improvement to one generic code to eliminate to eliminate illness or or and disease mm -hmm. yeah so i totally agree that the technology is changing by is changing the 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 diff that's all from my point the technology is changing the death the changing uh the technology is changing the definition of death oh, okay right so that's why it's uh, determined by technology uh, is it yes Right, okay. Uh, Thank let you. Let's go to Zhongyi. Wang Zhongyi. Yes, sir. Yes, and your Zhongyi or Zhongyi? Uh? Um, generally called Zhongyi. Zhongyi, uh, okay. So, for this question, I partially agree with it because as the human death is determined by both technology and society from a macro view. Mm. Well, the technology advancement in agriculture, medical and health research improves the human lifestyle from the threat of a nutrient outage, diseases like the smallpox and polio. Technology also um, involves uh, involve the weapons to, to help you, uh, human in efficiently killing the people in the war. So this could be a, a both good and uh, this could is how the technology could affect the death. Well, uh, for the society part, um, it's important that the society environments that well, people in a in a society having the discriminations on others, which could lead to the society thought to others as. Because of their ignorance on the on the view of perspective on others, and society also play a role in determining the people that in a certain country like Malaysia, where personnel who involved in a serious criminal actions like illegal drug trading or murdering, uh, this could uh, lead to uh, the death punishment to him would whoever uh involve it yeah, it, about Malaysia, is it? Huh? sorry 
you are talking about Malaysia, is it? Yes. Yeah, but Malaysia we are accepting the we are we are accepting the uh, concept of brain death. Hmm? Sorry. In Malaysia we are accept, we are accepting the definition of brain death. That means if someone is found brain death where the function is uh, is lost and then it is reversible, then the person is declared as dead. Yeah. Well, I'm talking about the uh, society of, of uh, in effect as mm -hmm. the nation laws decides to give a death punishment to those who involved in the oh, criminal okay. action like okay. illegal drug trading or murdering. Okay. So, moreover, the war incurred by a society because of the different needs or different, uh, different belief will also affect the life expectation of a human. So, that's it for me. Thank you. Okay, all right. Okay, good. Uh, Kashin, are you back? Wong Ka Shing. Uh, Wong Ka Shing or Ong Kai Shen? Uh, Wong Kai Shing, Wong Ka Shing. Is Ong Kai Shen here? I thought Ong, Ong Ka Shen is uh, absent, right? Wong Ka Shing, W O N G K A S H I N G. Ah, uh, yeah. Yeah, come share with us your answer. Uh, yes, I agree. The death is determined by the technology. Nowadays, with the latest technology in the hospital, a doctor is able to predict the syndrome of the disease, of the deadly disease from the result of X-ray or another, another modern medical equipment, so so that the time consuming to predict the disease is able to be reduced greatly, and patient can prevent it in the earlier time. Without the latest technology, patient is unable to predict what disease they are having and will delay their time to get the treatment from the hospital. In the severe case, they may die from the disease such as heart attack, cancer, and etc. For example, there's new AI technology invented to try to predict and prevent death of the patient. It can eventually predict the deathly potentially events such as heart attack or resp respiratory failure as early as six hours before that occurs and alert the patient and doctor. After alerting do the doctor, doctor will get ready and prepare the treatment for the patients. That's all. Okay, good. How about Wing Liang? Uh, hi sir, can you hear me? Okay, okay. Uh, I agree with the statement that death is to be determined by technology rather than society. Mm -hmm. uh, this is because death is an irreversible phenomenon from a medical oh, perspective. Oh, Sorry? What phenomena are you talking about? Uh, I, I mean, death is uh, irreversible. Oh, irreversible, okay. Uh, uh, for example, from a medical perspective, uh, brain death uh, is equivalent to a complete loss of biological functions and fall into deep unconsciousness. It is also irreversible. Uh, it differs from vegetative state as vegetative person is said to be alive due to some biological functions remain, such as involuntary actions of breathing or digestions. Uh, this proves that the technology can differentiate between vegetative and brain death, and hence I believe that the death can be determined by technology. Okay, All right. Let's go to Wu Hing Bong. Hing Bong? Uh, yes, sir. Yes, can you speak louder? Uh... Can you hear? Uh, yeah, okay. Um, I partially agree with the statement. Mm -hmm. uh, yes, the technology can help to control and maintain the health of humans mm -hmm. and also indirectly increase the human average life because the invention of the X-ray and X-ray CT MRI, the doctor is able to identify the disease that cannot be seen by humans' eye. Mm -hmm. Hence, many serious diseases such as cancer is in the in the old days is unable to identify and having an effective treatment in the old days mm -hmm. and causing them death. Death. Mm -hmm. And after the new technology is invented, such as X ray, the cancer is able to identify in the early age, early stage. And many patients is able to fully recover 
from the disease. Okay. However, some of the country or their military is using the radioactive materials to invent the to mix the uh, what uh, uh, atomic bomb and this this is this also the technology invention and it will causing many of the human death. So you say you only partially agree, right? Yeah. So what is the part that you disagree with? Uh, the society who invent the radioactive uh -huh. things. So what, what, I mean, to, to invent the radio, the atomic bomb. Mm -hmm. So? Uh, and they were cause, causing death, uh, causing many human death. Yeah. Okay, so that death is caused by technology or caused by society? Uh, it's see whether the society how to use the technology. How okay. they use the technology. Can you explain with an example? Uh, <laughs> Uh, um, if the society invent the technology and use it to uh, I don't know how to uh, what are you trying to say whatever words come into your mind just speak it out so don't, don't worry about grammar um, Like uh, the invention of atomic bomb, then if they use it to the society to uh, okay, I don't know how to. What 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 is it in your mind? What 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 are you trying to say? Uh, I partially agree with this because uh, the technology not the only things to judge the human death mm -hmm. and also how the how the humans I mean how the society doing the decisions okay it's because the the technology is used by human not okay. the technology technology itself okay so. So is that uh, uh, well, in exam then how are you going to explain this? Uh? If this is one of your question in the exam. I think of right answers, then I'll come back to you later. Okay. Okay. Okay, let's go back to just now, who is the one who I say? Is it Shinshan? I say I, I am waiting for the answer. One. Who is the one that I say I, I, I will come back to you? Yi Hang, sir. Yi Hang. Ah, Yi Hang. Yi Hang. Where is Yi Hang? Ah, Kuan Yi Hang. Are you ready this time? Hello, uh, yeah. Yes, sir. Huh? Uh, I don't have answer. Sorry? I I didn't have answer. What, what, what do you mean by I didn't have answer? Uh, you got extra time to think of the answer already, or still, still cannot get there. But, but I don't know how to answer. Uh, okay, what is the problem? Which part that you do not know? Uh, okay, are you facing problem with uh, most of the tutorial? Uh, yeah, or only this question that you have a problem? Uh, this, this question. Oh, now you mean, uh, uh, previous tutorial, you have no, no problem with that, lah? Uh -huh. 
Okay, I give you some more time to digest this question. If any if anything you are not clear or whatever, you just uh, message me or call me. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Let's okay. listen to uh Ding Dong, are you ready? Uh? Uh, so I think I misunderstood the statement. Okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So I think my point of view is mm -hmm. fully agree with the technology is judge. Yeah, is the things to cause the so human death. death. Yeah, mm -hmm. determined by. Which part are you are you are confusing? Uh, because I, I just now my thought is uh, because the bomb is. Create, I mean, controlled by the society, mm -hmm. so that that also, uh, the society can ca uh, causing death instead mm -hmm. of only technology. Okay, because the society misuse the technology, la. Yeah. Okay. So so misunderstood. No, I, I don't think you misunderstood the the question. Yeah. I I just case. I cannot oh. clearly, uh, I mean, how long? classified this to okay. right. yeah. mm -hmm. let's listen from uh, Jimin, uh, Lu Jimin. yes sir yep. uh, in my opinion I agree that the technology uh, the death is determined by technology mm -hmm. it's because when we back to a long time ago when we didn't have a clear definition of death we can only uh, determine that whether the uh, the person is stopped breathing, uh, breathing, then that considered as death. But now nowadays, uh, there are a lot of definition of death because uh, as the, uh, a lot kind of situation to determine whether the person is death. Mm -hmm. Because as the technology is improving, that they can know that some uh, the patient is only partially death. We, uh, where we can consider it as a brain death, that is the only the brain is can function, but the the blood uh, the circulation and breathing are sustained by the machines. So with the help of the medical device, they can still maintain the circulation. So uh, with the technology, the human uh, human organ will able also able to be. Uh, we're also able having a human organ transplant, uh, transplantation, which such as like kidney and other organs. Uh, when someone is having a, an accident, well, uh, die, uh, death, but they have others but uh, still function, they can having the surgery to help another patient, like maybe transplant their kidney or other organs. Uh, that's all for me. Okay. Let's okay. listen from Han Xiang. Han Xiang? Hello, sir. <coughs> huh? I agree that the death is determined by technology, but not by the society. This is because people in the old days is tends to use. Uh, actually, my so actually, sir, my point is quite similar to Jeremy's. It doesn't matter you present your way. Yeah, because people in the old days they tend to check the the victims or the patient's heart rate and the and their breathing to determine whether they are dead or not. But due to the invention of due to the evaluation of technologies, more and more medical equipment such as the heartbeat monitor is invented and created, and when and the death is determined by those equipment when there when there's only a straight line showing in the heartbeat monitor and the doctor is starts giving you the sort of death certification of death and then with the invention of other technologies such as ct and mri death is death is also can be predicted like for example if you if you are detected with a cancer of stage four and your doctor will literally tell you how many months you can live. And yeah. That's all, is it? Yeah, yeah, yes, that's all. What you explain, you need to be clearer. Yeah, this question is quite hard for me. Pardon? This question is quite hard for me. 
How about previous question? Uh, previous, previous question, question is fine. It's fine, only this question. Yeah. Right? Yeah, okay. You know, this question is very abstract. You can't see anything. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Okay. Let's listen from uh, Wei Hong. Wei Hong. Uh, yes. Yeah. Can speak louder, uh, please? I partially agree with the statement uh, in the aspect of technology, a person is considered uh, dead by the electrocardiogram. The electrocardiogram is used to measure the heart, heart electrical activity. Every heartbeat is triggered by an electrical signal that start at the top of heart, heart and travel to the bottom. If a person is dead, then the there is just a straight line shown by the electrocardiogram. So in the, this aspect, death is definitely defined by technology. However, death is also not defined by technology. There is a Chinese idiom called some people alive, but they actually die. Uh, some people die, but they are still alive. The definition for this idiom is someone is still alive, but they actually lose desire in their life. While someone is dead, but they actually remain their spirit to others or even society. For example, uh, Stephen Hawking, Nikola Tesla, Albert Einstein, those theory or invention that they left to us prove that their spirit is still with us. In this aspect, technology can't be defined, they are dead. So that's all for me. Okay, but it's a bit confusing. Uh. How do you create uh, the, 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 the spirit of your idiom that you mentioned just now? Uh, like uh, someone is still uh, like someone is still alive, but they lose their desire of the uh, they they lose lose their desire uh, in their life. Mm -hmm. So that means that uh, the person is still alive, but they look like a dead person. Okay. Uh, so that, that's uh, how however, how Sorry? They say they are not living to their purpose, right? Ah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Then the opposite one? Uh, some Someone is dead, uh, but they are, but actually their spirit is still with us. Uh, like the uh, Miko Tessa, uh, his, uh, his, uh, there's a lot of invention from him. So uh, we, we can't, we can't, we can't, we can't define that. Uh, Nikon Tesla is actually dead because he left a lot of invention, a lot of his invention for us. Okay. So you need to be careful. Right? If you discuss in this way, you need to make your point very clear. No? Otherwise, it's very confusing. Yeah. You, oh, you all right. Make a point, but you just make it clear. Right? Okay. All okay. Right. So right. It, the overall uh, from your uh, response or your answer, most majority of you are choosing the that is determined by technology so that's our life whether to live or not our life is controlled by technology right it's not by human being anymore so okay before we end the class today any question <coughs> sir, 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 you miss young chie sir young chie just now i call him no response eh? chie are you there yeah just now uh, sir call me i, I did respond already right uh <laughs> I don't know your thing, so luckily you asked oh. Okay, okay. Uh, okay, I think that this uh, statement is partially agree uh, correct and partially incorrect for me. Uh. So okay. first, uh, discuss about the concept of this statement is because from the view of technology in terms of medical and surgery side, mm -hmm. technology brings many of patients back to life uh, with those latest technologies such as doing surgery with robotic arm which is controlled by computer. Mm -hmm. uh, technology machine helps in investigating uh, viruses and vaccine to deal with all these uh, viruses and illness. Besides, with this technology improvement, people is more easily aware about the coming danger. For example, iPhone company has built in a location tracking system that user, user can actually send his or her own location to another user. Recent news about Father was cycling around the residential area and he accidentally fell down into a deep drain or ditch uh, and he was injured badly and very fainted. But he able to send an alert to his family members. At the end, his family members saved him and uh, fortunate that he's still breathing. 
from the side of this agreement of this statement because whatever how uh, technology eventually will be used and implemented by human by society we are not able to manage and control how and what human will use the technology to help or to use it maliciously uh, to do something bad and harm to others for example as we all know uh, the shooting news are quite common to be happen in US and some of the countries uh, usually are actually still undergoing and uh, under war and battle and it's clear to observe the contradictions uh, between the example and the statement uh, I stated just now. Uh. Mm. So people who is suffering from the pain which caused by technology will definitely disagree with this statement but conversely humans who live with this convenience that bring by technology will agree with the statement. Okay, good. Yeah, very clear uh, discussions. Oh yeah, yeah. Chie, there's one. I I facing one problem with your attendance uh, because oh, I, I, I guess... I'm not uh, attendance uh, but they still appear the status at absent. You just monitor and see whether you receive any uh, uh, notification about the absent or not. Yeah, if yes, you just okay, okay. Know. Yeah. Right. Okay. 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 Thanks, uh, Chie. Yeah. Just now, who is who is who is, who is, who is uh, saying that Chie, uh, I haven't called Chie yet. Who is the one? Uh, Dan Xinxuan. Dan Xun Xuan, very good. Uh, thanks for your help, huh? Right. Okay, any Welcome, question? Sir. Yeah. Any question before we end the class? Okay, if no question, then we end the class here and have a nice weekend. Start your preparations for your assignment already, huh? Okay, thank you, class.